Hello, welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will develop a e-learning platform app UI using Flutter. This is the second part of the series. First part is available on the channel. Codebase is hosted on the GitHub. Let's continue from where we left off. In the last part, we created the header, a search bar, and the bottom tab bar. Let's develop the other UI components. Before this, let's organize our widget tree. Let's move the code of search box to a new method. Perfect. Now run this project. Everything looks fine. Let's move forward. We need a category header. Elements in this header are organized horizontally. For this reason, I am using a row. Add a text widget as a child of this row. Set font size to 24 and weight will be bold. Set color to black. Let's move this header to new method and name it as header text field. Refactor the code. Perfect, the code is aligned. As I'm going to use this header again, let's make this function dynamic. This method will take a title string. Set this title as the text value. Make text style as constant to remove the warning. Pass the title value, that is categories. Let's format the code. Add a sized box of height 10 to create some empty space. We will show the category slider below this. I am using a container to hold those category items. To show the category and courses, we need the data. For this tutorial, I am using the local data. First, let's create the model file and name it as category inside the model. Inside this file, create a category class. This will take a title string and a category icon of type icon data. Create a constructor and pass these variables. Perfect, we are done with the category model. Let's use this model to create the category dummy data. Create dot file inside the data folder and name it as category data. I have already prepared this data. Let me get that. Awesome. Now let's go back to the homepage and start using this data. Set container height to 100. All these categories are arranged in a list. So let's use a list view builder to create the category list. Set string wrap to true. Slider is scrolled horizontally. Set the scroll direction to horizontal. For number of items in the list, we will use the length of the data which we just added. Perfect. Let's use the item builder to build the items. This will take the context and the item index. For now, let's return a placeholder. Perfect. Our list is working fine. Format the code. We need a reusable widget for the list items. Create a file inside the widget folder and name it as category icon. Inside this file, create a stateless widget and name it as category icon. Add a category variable and make this as required inside the constructor. Perfect. Now let's use this. Go back to home page and remove the placeholder. Use this widget which we just created. Pass the category data with the index which we get from the list index. Perfect. Now. Go back to the category icon widget. Remove the placeholder and add a padding widget. Set horizontal padding to 5. Let's use a column to align a icon and a text vertically. Inside this column, add a container for the icon. Set height and width of the container to 60. Use a box decoration and set a box shadow of color gray with a shade of 600. And blur style will be outer. Perfect. Set the container color to white and shape will be circle. Perfect. We will align the icon at the center. So wrap the icon widget inside the center widget. For icon value, use the category data like this. Awesome. We are able to see the icons. Now let's add the title. To add a empty space between these two, add a sized box of height 5. Below this, add a text for title and pass the title from the category data. The alignment of the text will be center. 
set font size to 12 and font weight will be 300. Perfect. We are done here. Now extract a function from this widget and name it as category slider. Awesome. Our code is properly organized. And that's it for this video. Please do subscribe to get notified when the next part comes. Thank you. Happy coding.